I L O V E Y O U. That wasn't an acronym. I just want you to know that loving you is complicated. It's not easy. I give up. Hello everyone, I'm Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Labby Edivids. Learning appreciation by innovation, banking on the ATMs of speech writing. On the previous episode, we were able to talk about memory gems and how you can use it to bank on when writing your speeches. And today's topic will center on mnemonics. Referenced from our friend Google, Mnemonics is the study and development of systems for improving and assisting the memory. So how does it help memory? It's by using the letters of a particular word while creating a meaning out of it. As most of us would know, it works as an acronym. Now let's try to create an acronym from the word itself, mnemonics. Making new effective mnemonics operating naturally in crafted speeches. Wow. And that's by our author himself, Adamson and Lab. And it can catch the audience by surprise without revealing what it really means. Now let us take another example. Homework is tiresome. Why? Homework means half of my energy wasted on random knowledge. <laughs> Homework. And that's according to Tim Van Solen. This technique will help you be creative and become engaging towards your audience from your speech. Oh, not to mention, mnemonics can also help you memorize better for your exams. Now let me give you more examples. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all make a choice. Choosing how our intentions create experience. Everything we do is not exempt from consequences, whether good or bad. We essentially have the power and the responsibility to determine the outcome of our lives. And our choice today determines the future. Now all you have to do is to choice wisely. I mean, choose wisely. But I don't have mnemonics for choose. Better make a choice. In that example, we were able to identify the importance of our decisions in life through the word choice and integrate the lesson intended in the word itself as well. Delivering a speech and public speaking in general is something that doesn't come naturally for us human beings and maybe some of you have experienced some pretty awful and even traumatic experiences while speaking in public. What matters now, however, is to move past the mistakes and move forward. Focus on real wins and reduce distractions. Moving forward is not only achieved by focusing on past mistakes, but also by the real wins in life, no matter how small they may be. Real wins include being able to finally speak in front of 300 people, being able to memorize three pages of your composed speech, or being able to deliver your speech with conviction when you can hardly do so before. While being healthy is a need in today's environment, I want to tell you all that I have a condition. I have AIDS. Active Income Deficiency Syndrome. That's why I'm thankful that speaking engagements like this help augment my financial condition. Thank you so much. <laughs> you see, using mnemonics captures the attention of your audience, making them really interested about your speech. They may not be able to completely remember the exact words you used. For at least, you made them grasp the idea of what you wanted to tell. And that's it for today. Once again, I'm Ben, and I'll see you again on the next episode.